a viewer writes, Last fall, I got a bunch of fiberglass insulation and stuffed it in all of the crevices in my basement. It had no effect. What's wrong? Chile, Dundas, Ontario. Well, Chile, stuffing fiberglass insulation in the cracks had an effect, uh, just not the one you had in mind. The cold air that's sneaking into your basement is now cleaner. What you really wanted was an air barrier. You installed an air filter. Fiberglass insulation isn't warm on its own. It's designed to fill the airspace in a wall. When the outside wall is cool and the inside wall is warm, air touching the inside wall warms and rises. Air touching the outside wall cools and falls. This sets up a circular motion of air that cools the warm wall and warms the cool wall. Fiberglass insulation stops that convection. Any warm air that does reach the cool surface would give up its moisture, the same as breathing on a cold window. So the wall assembly has a vapor barrier installed on the warm side to keep the household humidity from entering and rotting the wall. If cold outside air is allowed to blow right through this insulation, it doesn't do anything except trap dust. Now you don't need a stiff wind outside to have cold air blow in. Simply heating the house does it. The very same forces that make a chimney work cause the average heated house to suck outside air in at the bottom and blow it out the top. Contrary to what you keep hearing in the media, heat doesn't rise. Heated air does. Warm air is less dense than cold air. Now, this sounds like just an interesting piece of science, but in reality, it's a very powerful effect. Because of this chimney effect, to stop drafts, you have to attack the places where the air goes out, as well as the places where the air comes in. Your hardware store has a ton of air stopping methods, and a few bucks will go a long way. But watch it. The leaks in an average house perform at least two useful functions. That constant changing of the air takes away the humidity that's generated by cooking, bathing, and even breathing. A well-sealed house will grow mushrooms on the walls if you don't make provisions. The other thing provided by the leaks is often combustion air for the furnace. If you plan to go wild sealing every single crack in the house, get some advice from a heating expert so that you don't accidentally asphyxiate yourself. Now, before the R2000 people start sending nasty letters, I've got to point out that it's possible to design a very tight house, but it will need some means of air changing and combustion air for the furnace all included in the design. Well, Chili, you have your mission. Pull that fiberglass stuff out of the cracks and replace it with something that'll stop air, not just filter it.